And I think you guys would agree, most epic house ever created right here. Oh yeah, that was awesome. What's up guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase and today we're checking out the instant house mod So what this mod allows you to do is to craft a block that turns into a structure instantly There's some really cool stuff in this mod to even custom houses. It's brand new and I'm loving it So yeah, I did review this mod like two years ago But I definitely wanted to do a re-review because there's so much new stuff And if you guys are pumped for this one definitely crush the like button and if you're new to the channel subscribe as well And let's do this so first up, we're going to check out the wooden house. I know it sounds a little bit boring, but it's actually really helpful. So if you want to make this one, it is going to be tons of wood, any kind, a bed, a crafting table, a chest, a furnace, and finally a torch. It's really not that cheap. It's kind of expensive for this one. There is some overpowered stuff, though, you're going to see in a minute. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plop it down. It's pretty simple. Slam it down. Right click it. Bam. Your house is made. You might want to make sure there's like ground underneath it or it's going to look like that floating in the air. All right, there we go. So we're going here. We've got a bed. We've got a furnace 10 coal in it. Not too bad. We've got a crafting table and this is the best part. You get a full wooden set like your first day in Minecraft. This could be so helpful and actually the structure itself doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good. We got some torches right there. Pretty nice looking, but do you want a wood house or do you want cobblestone or brick? Leave a comment. What do you prefer guys? We do have some choices here. So to make this one, it's gonna be the same recipe except cobblestone instead and this one's gonna be bricks. And actually, these ones are better. You'll see in a second. You probably don't even want that house. It's garbage. Garbage compared to this. So if I put this down, right click it. It's the same design, but check this out. We've got a stone set instead. So why would you want the wood one when you could go stone? I don't know. There is no brick set, obviously. It'd be weird if they like made one for the mod. But check it out. Let's go with the brick one. Bam. We've got a brick house there. No wolf is going to blow that down. That's right. You might have a mod installed that has a wolf that blows down houses. I don't know. So in here we've got another stone set. So yeah, really helpful. Kind of makes the wood one kind of pathetic. It's like the same recipe. You probably don't want the wooden house. We're on to the cool stuff now. And check out this block. It looks like a super lucky block. It's not. It makes a custom house. So to make this one, guys, it is going to be a bunch of wood. A furnace. It's like all the same stuff except a diamond in the middle. So a little bit more expensive. Totally worth it. The thing about it is it's super overpowered. You can actually duplicate blocks. Duplicate. Du you can double the blocks. Triple up. Quadruple. You can make a lot of blocks. That's right. So in front of us, we've got a house I set up for myself. I've got one for me, one for Jen, and one for Bami. So this is how it works. Bottom block is the floor. This one is the walls. And that is going to be the roof. So all you have to do is shove it underneath. And then right click it and my house is made. Look at this. It looks amazing. And it's really cheap considering how much stuff we got out of that. It's so overpowered. So let's go in. Gold floor, diamond walls, emerald ceiling, living like a boss. So in the chest we have nothing but a lot of storage. We've got a bed. I don't know how I almost missed the word there. We got a bed right there. We have a crafting table and a furnace with nothing in it. So this one is Jen's. It's got purple. It's got pink. Probably wouldn't make it myself. But yeah, basically you can use any block and turn this into something really cool. And actually, now that I think about it, I want to try it with something weird. I want to try it with like a furnace. I don't think that's going to work, but I want to try it. Let's go with this. Jen's house has been created. It looks really good too. I love how you can actually customize an instant structure. So it's the same stuff, just different blocks. And of course, guys, Bommy's house completely made of DNT. Let's do it. Put it down. And every block TNT. You know what we need to do though? We should blow this up. We should definitely do that. You can't put torches on this so they kind of fell down. Let's go for it. Let's get some flint and steel. Let's have some fun with this. So I think Bomby would appreciate this. And I think you guys would agree. Most epic house ever created right here. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Not to worry guys, Bomby is just fine. And look at the size of that. That was totally worth it. It only cost me... 3 TNT to make that house and I got a giant explosion out of it. So the one thing I didn't try is this. So I'm going to put this down over here. Hold on, let me try this. Put it like right. Put it down, bat. All right, there we go. So we've got some room. I'm going to put a furnace on this. That's right. And then nether quartz on top. This is so annoying to do. I have to be holding shift. Why would I put this there? All right, there we go. So if this makes a house, I am going to be impressed. I don't know what's going to happen. 
Oh my god, that worked. It actually turned into a house. It looks ridiculous. So really, you can use any blocks, guys. Not the best place for it, but the house is pure epicness, obviously. So let's tread on to the next one. And this is where the houses start to get really cool. We kind of started with, you know, the weak stuff. This is the powerful houses. That's how I describe things. So right here, this one is the modern house. If you want to make it, it is going to be glass panes, a bucket of water, any kind of wood right there, and any kind of wood right there. So this one looks a lot better. Like a lot better. It's a new design. This is one of those brand new houses in the mod. So you just throw it down. I love how all the blocks have like these like diamond corners to it. Smack it. And we have a modern house. It's got water coming down, guys. That is modern at its finest. I could almost go fishing out of that. It's like a drinking source. You know, is there something down here? That'd be weird if there's like a secret room. You could drink out of this. I don't know how this is going to work. I probably will drown. Yeah, it's nice. So let's take a look inside here. At the moment, there is no decoration. So you can do whatever you want with this. There is not a bed. There is not a crafting table or anything like that. But the cool thing about that is you can put whatever you want. And there's two floors plus an epic balcony. And we need to get out of here. I don't really fit too fat, I guess. So let's see. We've got... Oh, the next one's a library. This one is massive. There is some big structures in this mod too. So if you want to make a library, need some bookcases. It is going to be two bookshelves. Any kind of stone bricks. A gold ingot, a torch, and also a fence. So I'm just going to like toss it down right here. Hopefully it doesn't kill the chickens. And guys, keep in mind, these structures can kill animals. It happens sometimes. It might happen right now. Are they alright? Totally missed them. So this one, it looks good. Look at that. Look at the glass design. It almost looks like a mouth and like two scary eyes. It's like a haunted house. Haunted library right here. Definitely haunted. I got four of these somehow. I don't know how. Should have gotten two, but cool. So we go in and tons of bookcases. You could climb up this to get that high up book if you want to, but you can't climb on top, which is sad. And yeah, places to read, I guess. That is pretty much all there is to show there. Oh, the next one though is extremely helpful. This is a mob trap. So if you want to make it, it's going to be a diamond, glowstone dust, gunpowder, and two bones. So this is better than any mob spawner you, spawner, any mob spawner you could make. Or mob spawner, as some people would pronounce it, which is obviously incorrect. So I'm going to get a little bit more room here. Let's go over here and let's try it out. So I'll put it down and here we go. It's massive. That is not a small structure. Look for flat land. And if you do wonder why I don't showcase these on like a flat land, because this is what you're going to be doing in survival. You're not going to be on a flat land. So let's try this out. Got a button right here. Let's jump in. All right, let's get in there. Oh, come on. I'm balancing. I don't know how. Let me in. So here we go. This is nice. Look at this. So basically, the mobs, they're going to fall down over there. They're going to burn to death in lava. Their drops are going to go down there, and you're going to find them right over here. There's flowers because the structure was kind of, you know, it broke the land. It happens. So I'm going to show you guys how this actually works. So I'm going to break into it. Let's check it out. It's pretty amazing. This is why this is better than any mob spawner you can make. There's a lot of spawners right there. That is ridiculous. That is so many. So that's going to be helpful. The mobs are going to be stupid. They're going to fall in. They're going to fall down to their doom. Burn to death. And you will take their body parts. Let's check it out. Did we get any yet? We get any? We've got... I see something. Is that gunpowder? Yes. And bones. Perfect. So the mobs are dying. The stuff is falling down. It's working perfectly. It's gonna be so helpful. The trading post is gonna be next. And this is cool if you can't find a village. You could kinda make your own. It's kinda lonely though because there's only one. He's gonna be forever alone. But that's alright. You could move him into your house or something. So this one is the trading post. To make it, it is gonna be tons of wood and tons of slabs like that. And one emerald in the middle. Totally worth it. Let's put it down. Bam. And there he is. He's not in jail. He sells stuff. He lives here. It's kind of cool. So this is like a cool little structure to get yourself a village. See what he has for trades. So a bunch of wheat for an emerald. Not bad, actually. You can get back that emerald you, you spent on this almost instantly if you have the wheat. So kind of cool. You can make your own village or something if you wanted to. It's pretty obvious to me what we need to do with the next one. So this right here is actually a fountain and this one's a pool. We got to make my house more epic. We need to do this. And seriously, it's really annoying to build these things. Building a fountain pretty easy. Building a pool takes way too long. So for this one, guys, it is going to be a bucket of water and tons of wood, any colors. And for the pool, it's going to be tons of buckets of water and some cobblestone. So let's make this look better. Fountain right there. There we go. It's like super close to my house. It's extremely close, actually. So that looks pretty good. And on this side, let's go with the pool. There we go. I don't even know if you get out of that. Can you? Can you get out of this? I don't know. Let's try. Swim out. This is actually some type of death trap. No, it's not. 
I thought it was for a second. I didn't realize there was a way you could just climb out. That'd be so funny. Now we're going to check out the mine shaft. So for this one, it's going to be three rails, iron ingots, a diamond, and some cobblestone. So we'll toss this down, and you can have your own mine shaft, guys. That is pretty cool. All right, bam. And let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, that's the way in. You know, we need a mine cart, definitely. Let's grab one. We got to ride in like a pro. So we're going to get this, and let's do this. Here we go into the structure. Did an arrow just shoot me in the face? I didn't realize this was a trap. So it's it's smaller than it looks, obviously. Apparently a trap. That might happen to you too. But now you know. So apparently I can grab out the arrows. That's nice. So tons of free arrows. And also a random chest. We have bread. We've got a gold ingot and a cookie. Let's see if it's random, actually. You never know what you get here. Let's try this one more time. Bam. I'm like inside it. Didn't really want to be. But we're going down. Maybe we'll get something different this time. Oh my god, this ended out so broken. Alright, so we got um, some bread and we got some gunpowder. So it's completely random. You can get all kinds of stuff. Well, the next one's a tree house. You don't even need a tree. You can just make your own. So for this one, we are going to need pretty much the same stuff as before. Except it's going to be blocks of iron right there. And wood. I think we already had wood on the other one though. So yeah, let's make it. Let's do it. Giant tree house. Bam. It's like growing in front of my eyes. Oh, I like that. That looks good. It even has its own door. So we're gonna climb up here. Let's check it out. It looks like a nice place to me. So you don't even need to build this yourself. Oh, this is sick. So we have a room right here. Cool ways to like look outside and stuff. In here, possibly a cage. You can trap, you know, your friends in here and then blow them up if you want to. You can just trap it. You can put your pets in here. Trap them in. I don't know. You can trap someone in there. It looks like a cage. If you go up here, this is the main room. We've got a bed. We've got two furnaces. We have a crafting table and even a chest. Oh, it's got iron stuff and ingots. You could make a chest plate too. That is pretty good. So let's bust out of here. We're on to the next one. This one is the stable. So to make it, it is going to be really complicated. It's going to be a chest, a fence, a pressure plate, a hay bale, a saddle, a sign, a torch, a wooden door, and stairs. There's a lot of different stuff you need for this one. I hope it's going to be awesome. So bam, there we go. There's no horses. I thought there would be horses in a stable. Oh, that's sad. Apparently, you need to get your own horses. But if you have some, guys, stable automatically made for you. And here we've got a hay bale. And also, we've got a sign and a saddle. Another cool thing about this mod is if you're going exploring, you can bring a tent with you. But you know what I would do? I'd bring a diamond block, an emerald block, and a gold block and make my own custom house. That would be amazing. But if you don't want to do that, if it's too expensive, you could go for a tent. So to make this one, it's going to be like duds of wool and pretty much the same stuff as before, except a fence. I think it doesn't come with a bed, though, so you're going to want to bring a bed as well. So let's check it out. Bam. We've got one. It looks pretty cool. I like this, actually. I feel like you should have a bed. I feel like for a tent, you should have somewhere to sleep. Somewhere. We've got um, a double chest. We've got a crafting table. Furnace with nothing in it. So the next ones are all pill boxes. You might be wondering... Why is there boxes of pills in Minecraft? They're not. It's actually a type of house. I did not know this. But um, this is called a sandstone pill box. We have a brick one and also a cobblestone one. So to make these, which is not pills. No pills involved. You'll see in a second. So this one is going to be sandstone blocks. Any kind. We got some birch wood right there. And the same stuff as before. For the brick one. Any kind of stone bricks. And some spruce wood planks. And for the cobblestone one, we need moss stone. Kind of hard to get that. And some oak wood planks. And that is pretty much it. So let's put it down. Bam. There we go. This one is cool, actually. This is good if you're living with another person. And the design is really nice, in my opinion. Like, honestly, I probably wouldn't do this good if I built it myself. Plus, the floor looks good. I like the wool design on it. We have freaking four furnaces. We have two double chests, two beds. So we got this right here. And some crafting tables as well. So basically, there is three different designs on this. This one is the brick version. Which I almost got stuck in. It's like the same thing. Different colored floor. And the walls look nice. The thing is, this one doesn't have the cool like design on the floor. I really like this one because it has like a cool like wall design. Let's check out this last one. And does it have a cool design? 
No, it doesn't. That only that one does. It looks so much better. In my opinion, that one wins. So, anyways, guys, that is about all there is to show with this mod. It adds in tons of instant structures, cool stuff as you're exploring around that you could use. And if you don't like building, it's definitely a plus as well. But if you do like building, it's kind of cool to like bring like a custom house with you. If you get like out in the middle of the night, just build it. That could be super helpful. If you guys want to check out this mod, the download as always will be in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, definitely crush the like button. Do it instantly like an instant structure or like the flash that makes more sense and subscribe as well guys that would mean so much to me i put out tons of modded content and i'll see you next time peace out